Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Yamesh Gupta and in this video we are going to solve a front-end interview question from one of the top leading product companies in India called Make My Trip. Many users have reported that the question we are about to solve was asked in the machine coding rounds of the Make My Trip com uh, company, uh, especially for SD1s and SD2. So I thought it would be a good question to try out. And uh, since you know the job market is really tough out there, if there is a job, then there are you know thousands of applicants. So only way to stand out and only way to clear the interviews is to get better at what you do and prepare well for the interviews. And we can only do that by practice. So I'll request you to code along this video with me, code along this question, or um, maybe go to the platform and practice out after the video. So let's get started. So on the DevTools tech platform, we'll go to the programming section under questions. Uh, we have this first question which says write a function to return the count of numbers in an array. We'll just open it and let's go through the requirements first. It says that in this question, the candidate needs to implement a function that returns the count of numbers in provided array. Uh, it's simple. We have an input array and we have to return the count of the elements where the type is numbers. Okay, the array might contain data types and nested arrays. Okay, other data types. So basically it could have strings, it could have booleans or functions and so on. And it could have nested array also. Like I mentioned, many users have reported that uh, this was asked in make my trip. Uh, let's go to syntax. We have one function which will take an input argument uh, collection. The, the name of the argument is collection, which is an array, the input array. It returns a number, which is the total count of numbers. Let's check out the examples. Uh, we have this one array here where there are multiple elements and nested arrays and functions and it returns the total number of uh, total count of the numbers. And if the array is empty, then it is will returning a zero. Okay. So let's start it. Let me just uh, increase the font size. So I'll make it 30 to make it more readable. Uh, so let's create a variable first to keep a track of how many numbers we have. Now what a lot of people do is that they divide their code into two parts. One is the happy flow. Sorry. One is the happy flow that if we have collection not length, then we'll do some processing. Else we'll just simply uh, return zero, which is uh, the second case in our examples. If the array is input array is empty. But this is all good, but you know, this else is unnecessary. A better way to write this would be that if we check, uh, you know, escape condition guard rails earlier, uh, early in our program, that something like if con collection dot length, if we don't have it, then we'll return the count right here. So the uh, benefit of this is that we'll escape early if we encounter a negative scenario and we do not have to you know do additional checks so it makes our code a little performant and better um, adds more readability to it okay and if we have the count uh, like if there are you know numbers or elements in the collection then then we'll do some processing and at last we'll return or let me just return it we'll return the count okay now let's go to the processing. So what processing we have to do? So let's say we have one, two, three, four. So we have to iterate over the array and if we, and we have to see uh, what type of element uh, or what type of element, yeah, individual, uh, this individual, what type of this individual element is, is it a number? Is it a string? Is it something else? And based on that, we have to do the processing. So we have to do a loop here. To iterate if i equal to 0 i less than collection dot length and we'll do i plus plus and inside this we can say that what is the uh, current uh, element we can say collection of we can select that particular element so it could be 0th element first element and so on we are only concerned with numbers so we can say if type of uh, current is equal to equal to number then we'll increase the count and if everything else then we can ignore but uh, there could be scenarios where 
the input element could be like 1 comma 2 so the first is a number the second is an array that contains a number so we have to check for nested arrays also so we can say we can use a utility array dot is array if it's a if the current element is an array then we can do count plus uh, count numbers and we can pass the current here so the men oh sorry this is wrong yeah this is fine now so let's just dry run it first before submitting so let's say this is our input and uh, our current will become one here first and this case will be executed because current is uh, the type of current is a number so it would be count plus one which would be one answer because count was zero which would be zero plus one sorry not nine zero plus one and uh, then when we iterate next then it would be an array with a single uh, element inside it we will go to else if and this would be executed so we'll have count plus count number and we'll pass the current element which uh, which contains a single element to and then due to the so this when we are invoking the count numbers again so this is recursion and will the collection would be now an array with a single element two so, so we still have the length so this is a uh, false will move on will it trade now the current becomes two and uh, the for this particular function call the count becomes one because for the second call the count is again defined and it is again zero and will return one here so when we return from the recursion call this would become count plus equal to one plus one because of the this call the output of this call is one and when it comes back the control comes back to the first invocation the count was one at that time so the final count value would be two and that's what we are going to return here so now let's just run it and see if we are passing all the test cases see we are passing all the test cases where the first test case was that there was an array with five elements and there was in the second uh, test case we have an array with multiple nested arrays and we were getting the right output if this in this case we had a mixed data type that array plus strings plus boolean nested array with mixed data type uh, this is an array with no uh, numbers again nested array with no numbers and nested array with empty arrays this is also fine so this is a nested array with empty array plus numbers and this is the original case where we have nested array with mixed data types again so this is simple enough we it is passing all our cases you do try out this question maybe try it try, i've used an iterative approach try it with some higher order function if you i am using recursion maybe you can try with some other scenario or sorry some other approach or some other method uh, let me know your thoughts share your solution in the comments go to the devtools uh, devtools tech platform try this question uh, submit it and once you submit it uh, make it public and you'll get the link and share it in the description reach out to me on linkedin and everything and once you have submitted then under the all section all submission sections your submission would show up so till next time see you take care bye bye